Hi everybody, welcome to Daisy and welcome to the tropical island that is Eden. Look at this, how cool is this? So this is, I think, a fairly new map. Ooh, my characters get a little bit hot here. In fact, they are getting very hot, aren't they? Look at that. Um, that um, has been worked on for quite a while by other people, but I think a new team has taken over to finish it off. Um, it is a map that's uh, ongoing in progress. Um, and I've had a quick look around and it seems to be very, very cool. So what I'm going to be doing in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install it on a local server. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to install it on a remote server as well. And in case you're wondering, well, well, what's, the, what's this local server uh, business, Rob? Well, I really think that it's very important that if you're into installing mods on servers, well, and install just having servers for DayZ anyway, um, having a local server is probably one of the best things you can do because it enables you to try out different maps, different mods, um, check things are working uh, very quickly at a local level rather than having to um, keep uploading things to the internet. So what I'll do is I'll put a uh, link in the description below this video um, describing um, how to install a local server. Let's have a quick uh, free cam. It's really, really good. This. It, it, uh, th th there's lots of great maps isn't there for Daisy, you know, um, but I think the ones that often stand out are the ones that transport you to a uh, a, a different environment. Um, I'm talking, you know, like Namalsk, um, the uh, the desert map, Essica, is it? Um, and uh, and this one as well. And what what's cool as well, having you know run around it for a bit as well is. I really like the fact that although we're you know in this uh, jungle environment, we've still got the, the kind of um, Eastern European side. So it's like yeah, you, sure you're in you're in the jungle, um, but this is an island that was owned by the Russians because you know the buildings are kind of uh, Eastern European buildings, which, which I think is really cool as well. So you've still got that Daisy vibe. <laughs> you know, there's the classic Daisy water tower uh, down there. Um, so very, very good. Um, looking forward to uh, exploring them. Anyway, let's um, get back to it. So before we before we leave, though, let's just have a quick look at the map. It's pretty big, this map. We've got the kind of this little island here. I say little, it's pretty big. And then we've got the main island here. Um, so yeah, so I've been very impressed so far. And I, as I say, um, it re you really do look like you're in the jungle. In fact, I tell you what, let's just, let's just put my character here. There we go. Let's go to first person. I mean, I tell you what, it's very similar to. It's like um, Prairie Fire for Armor Three. You know, it definitely has that Vietnam feeling. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, so let's come out of here and let's uh, let's get started. So the first thing you'll want to do, obviously, is uh, fire up uh, Steam, go to the Daisy uh, Workshop, and just find Eden. And then you'll want to subscribe to the Eden map mod. And that will then, um, as soon as you fire up Daisy, that will then uh, download it to your computer. At the moment, there's no other dependencies. It's just uh, Eden itself. And it does include the missions files as well, which is really important. So loot and zombies and everything does start spawning in as soon as you, as soon as you do this. Um, so then what you want to do is, once you've subscribed to it, fire up the Daisy launcher. And when you fire up the Daisy launcher, that will then download them to your uh, local computer. So what you want to do then is you'll want to find where Daisy is on your hard drive. Uh, it's probably in something like Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps Common. Um, uh, or you can always find it within the launcher. If you go to Mods, uh, in fact, so let's exit the game so we can do this properly. Go. Be sure to exit. Yes, please. Dum -de dum -de dum -de dum dum. So, if you want to find out where where Daisy is, if you go to any mod, click on the little arrow, click on the three little dots, open folder in Windows Explorer, just say so you understand, and that will then take you to. Um, there's uh, there's the common 
folder there that's got Daisy in it, and there's the workshop folder. So what we want um, within Daisy uh, is the workshop folder, and then we just want to copy Eden. So right click, copy that, and then what we want to do is we then want to put that into our Daisy local server. So in my case, that's uh, Daisy server, which is there. So right click, paste, and then you can see there it is. Now within here as well, we have got the central economy tools as well. So if you wanted to fire up the central economy editor, you, you could do that. You don't need to, but you could do. But what we're interested in is, uh, oops, is survival.eden. So that's the missions folder. So if we go in here, we can see you know, there's the types, there's the events, the XML, there's all the CFG stuff, there's the zombie territories, all that sort of stuff. So what you want to do is you want to copy the mission, go to the MP missions folder within your server, paste it there, there you see we've got survival.eden. And then what we want to do as well is we want to go into Eden, we want to go into the keys folder, we want to copy karist underscore eden dot by key, and you want to go into the keys folder of your server, and you want to paste that. Um, so then we've kind of got the, we've got the stuff in place, but then what we need to do next is we need to make sure that the server uh, starts with the with the uh, Eden mod, um, and we're also going to change a couple of other things as well. So the first thing you want to go into is your serverdz.config file, um, and you'll want to go into your batch file, your start.bat file. However, that is you've, you'll already have one. However, one technique that I use is that I have lots of different bat files and lots of different config files for different maps and different um, different mods so what I recommend you do is open up your basic um, start batch file um, and then save it as one specifically for Eden so here we go so if we look at this one so this is my batch file um, and then what we see is in the start line here you can see in the mod section, which is here, I start my servers, generally local servers with CF and Zombri Amarin tools, and all we do add in is at Eden onto that file there. And then the other thing I do is that I change the um, the uh, server uh, uh, dz.config as well. So what I also do is I'll open up my basic serverdz.config and then I'll save it um, as serverdzeden.config and this is where down at the bottom where we've got survival.eden which is the mission so if you're not quite sure about the spelling for these things it's quite easy so you can go into your missions you can just left click on that right click the name go back to your text editor paste that over the template save that and then for the mod name you can just left click there copy all of that go back to your batch file and then paste that in at the end for at Eden so you can see then I change the server con set server config equals server DZ eden.config now you could just keep changing your original ones and have one batch file and one server dz.config and just keep changing these values within that but this way it makes it a little bit faster i think because it means that when i want to say here we go so here's the example so if i want to play on livonia i just click my start livonia uh, batch file and that will refer to a uh, server dz livonia.config and so you know it fires up and does it all in the right order so once you've done them and saved them the other thing you probably want to do is you'll want to change the uh, cfg gameplay dot json to change the temperature now what i've noticed is that within the eden mission files um, the cfg gameplay dot json it comes with is an old one that doesn't include the temperature settings so what i recommend is go to one of your other uh, up to date with 1.18 or whatever version we're on now um, and copy the CFG gameplay.json so copy that and then paste that into your Eden mission 
and then open it up in your favorite text editor and what you'll see the extra lines will be here hopefully but maybe by the time you come to do this um, these will be included because what you can do now is very easily within daisy is control the temperature on your server and i don't think with a, a jungle type you know probably a pacific type um e equatorial server uh, it shouldn't be cold should it? i mean you, i guess you could have it cold at night maybe but on a tropical island i think it's pretty warm most of the time in fact one of the things you, you'll probably be battling against on a tropical island is is heat and not and getting hot so what I did was basically I went through and I've had 15 degrees to the base settings, I think, I think for um, Livonia. Um, and so in January and December, when it's coldest, it will be 10 degrees at night and 13 degrees during the day, which is probably a little bit too cold, to be honest. But then in the middle of the summer, it can go up to sort of 33 degrees at night and 41 degrees during the day. You know, so if you do too much running around, um, your character's going to have to start stripping off clothes. Excuse me while I have a little bit of a drink. Um, and then, you know, save that CFG gameplay.json, play around with any of the other stuff you want, um, like the building settings. And then what you should then be able to do is, excuse me, go back to your batch file. Uh, so in my case, it would be server, uh, here we go, start uh, zombie.eden, double click on that. That will then fire up the server, um, like so. And then within the launcher, if I just go to servers and just go to LAN, there it is, map name, Eden, click on join. You see it's got all the things there. And that, that's it, it's very, very simple for a local server. Uh, enables you to spot uh, mistakes very, very quickly. And what it also means is that we can test this and we can jump in and we can join it. I mean, I don't need to because I know this definitely works. I was, I was in it a few minutes ago. Um, but it, it means that if you mirror this on your server in the cloud, you know it should be working. Um, so let's just close this for now and so the next thing is well how do you install this whole how do you install this in the cloud again I'm assuming you've already got a remote server fired up you know with um, Nitrado or, or someone like that so here's a Nitrado server and then what we want to go is you want to go into the general settings um, and depending on your type of server host they'll have all these things in different places so within Nitrado it's in this the additional mod setting you can see I've added excuse me at Eden to that particular bit there and then what I've done as well she's been while I sneeze <coughs> or cough a bit both there go into the expert settings um, and this is the server dz.config and down there this is where you add in template equals survival dot Eden uh, but we need to actually put these up on the server, don't we? So what you want to do is you want to fire up your um, FTP program. I'm using FileZilla here. There we go. And so what you see on the left-hand side, this is my local PC, my local files. And on the right-hand side, this is the server in the cloud. Um, and so all you need to do there is you can just go to your DAISY server uh, location on your computer. Um, and remember if you get a little bit stuck with where it is trying to find it within the file browser within your FTP program what you can do is if you go to where you've already found it on your PC previously up in the top section here in the address bar if you just left click that turns into an address which you can then copy and then you can paste it into there <coughs> excuse me and that will then take to the right place so we can go to daisy server and then I can just click on there, right click that, um, click on Daisy standalone so it goes to the right place, upload that, that will then upload to the server, as you can see it already has. Um, we need to make sure that we transfer the keys across, so within here we open up Eden, open up keys, we've got keys open here, see the, the, here's the key down here, so we can right click, click upload on that, and that will then upload to that. And then what we can also do is if we open up the missions folder in the server, like so, we can go into um, survival.eden there. Let's make sure we clicked on missions. Oop. And then we would right click upload to that and that will then upload survival.eden to there. 
Um, and then what we need to remember to do is that we change the CFG gameplay, didn't we? So that um, we would have a, a warm, uh, a warm island. So what you want to do is you want to go into the missions, go to survival .eden. Um It'll be in the kind of base directory here, and then on our server we can go down to. Oh, here we go. Daisy server. Excuse me. MP missions. There's Eden. And, if, and down here in the bottom left hand corner, we can go to CFG gameplay.json, upload that, and that will upload the edited version of the CFG gameplay that has the higher temperatures onto our server. So we've uploaded the keys, we've uploaded the, the mod. So if we just go back to our server settings again, as you can see in the advanced settings, or you know, in the which is basically is the server dz.config, we've added survival.eden as the template. Uh, and in the general settings, we've add, added at Eden as the mod to start. Save all that, um, restart the server, um, and then you're good to go, really. Um, and you'll be playing around um, on Eden, which um, is a fantastic mod, um, a fantastic map. Really looking forward to how the the, uh, the de developers um, make the most of this. Um, and uh, I tell you what, it, I thought it was re really cool. It would be a very cool PvP map. You know, for like a Vietnam sort of era sort of theme thing, but also it's got a bit of a Jurassic Park feel to it as well. So I can very imagine, you know, uh, Dinos, Binos, uh, dinosaurs, and uh, spiders crawling around. That would be pretty cool. Anyway, hopefully you found the video useful. If you have, hit like. Once you're the same, press subscribe, and I will of course see you again soon.